Why women, women's rights are important within international development and ending poverty. My name is Kate Lahan and I am a third year student in Malahide Community School. I wrote this speech because I feel so strongly and passionately about the issue of an equal world for all. I outlined five things that I believe are key issues in obtaining equality, development and ending poverty. Women. We make up around half of the world's population and yet, according to the Global Poverty Pro Project, we represent over 70% of the world's poor. I can't, but one, uh, I can't help but wonder why. Why is this? Is it because millions of women and girls are denied the right to an education? Is it because millions are unable to access the workforce? Or maybe because a huge amount of girls are forced into motherhood before even reaching adulthood? According to girlsnotbrides.org, up to 15 million girls worldwide are married as children and that over 30% of today's women were married before their 18th birthday. I have two main beliefs, the first of which is that women's rights are vital for international development and secondly that women's rights are key to, help ending, to helping end poverty. As a teenage girl growing up in the age of communication in a developed country, I can see directly how the move towards gender equality has improved lives and economies in many countries around the world, but we still have a long way to go to achieve gender equality globally. I read a haunting figure lately which states, according to the World Health Organization, that the top two causes of death in teenage girls are self-harm and maternal conditions. The death rate for maternal conditions in girls aged 15 to 19 is 112.6 deaths per 100,000 girls. The female suicide rate in this age is 27.82 deaths per 100,000. These are shocking figures, which can be directly linked to the denial of human rights. Teens being forced into marriage and motherhood when they are too young puts too much strain on them physically and emotionally. In addition, throughout the world, many women are denied their basic human rights. For example, the right to education, the right to work, the right to choose a husband, or even the right to health care. By denying women these rights, there is a direct impact on how a country will grow and develop. By denying women the right to work, half of the possible workforce is potentially being removed. A country can hinder its economic development as it has a lesser workforce to help boost its economy and can generate revenue on much less of its citizens. Many countries still have policies in place such as the mar marriage bar. Only recently, Ju in June 1973, did Ireland abolish the marriage bar. This policy stated that women in public service jobs had to res resign once they got married. Basically, by having policies such as the marriage bar, a country's economy can only and will only run on half power. Education is one of the most hu important human rights people have. Throughout the ages, many people have fought and died for, this, for the right to education. This sounds ridiculous. Why on earth should people have to fight to achieve their potential? Yet, education can be one of the hardest rights for women to obtain. Activi activists such as Malala Yousafzai have fought against terrorist groups to help women achieve an education. Educated women have educated children. As the old Mexican proverb states, a house does not rest upon the ground, but upon a woman. This proverb shows just how important that women can be in the home. Women are the foundations of families and generations. They are core educators and motivators. Mm -hmm. Women who are educated educate their children. Women who, ooh, oopsie daisies. Women, women who are educated educate their children. Women who are educated can work and can benefit the economy as I have outlined above. And women who are educated can be healthier and have healthier children. There are so many benefits to educating women, which does not only benefit the individual woman, but the country as a whole. Women's rights to an education is key to a more equal to a more equal global development. Healthcare is vital for everyone, and yet extensive healthcare is not provided to so much to so many women. Even ba basic healthcare is not provided in many places around the world, such as rural Mali or Ethiopia. 
Information on family planning, contraception and general health care are not provided. As a result, women and their families suffer. Many, many families are not planned, child mort mortality is high and illness is common. Educa educating women about basic health care means that families will be planned, children will have a higher chance of survival and a country will can, can and will slowly begin to develop. Women who plan families will, in general, have a better understanding, understanding of, he of a healthy pregnancy and will more likely have less children and healthier children. Mothers teaching their children basic health tips, such as boiling water to make it cleaner, will have a huge impact on the spread of disease. I cannot fathom why you would prevent women the access to healthcare. It may be alien to us that, so, that women are denied healthcare, but it is a reality for so many women. Also, how can you expect a country to be run democratically if only half of the population gets to, get to say in who runs the country? In many developing countries, women do not have the right to vote or to run for election. In many, how can we say that a country is democratic when half of its citizens have no say in how it's run? Women can be, women and men think differently. They have independent opinions. By allowing women the chance to vote, you are allowing a more democratic society, allowing different policies to be implemented and voices to be heard. It is somewhat insulting that men in government write laws regulating women's bodies and control things such as access to contraception. Women know what women need. By giving women the right to vote, you are helping them help themselves. To conclude, I believe that women's rights are crucial in aiding international development. Women's rights is not just a women's rights issue. It's an issue we must combat together. In the words of Hil Hillary Clinton, hu humans' rights are women's rights, and women's rights are humans' rights. By providing women with basic human rights, you're influencing how developed your country will be and how quickly that development process will be. You need to have an entire country working, learning, and living to develop. You, you need to have everyone educated, working and healthy to avoid poverty and to end disease. As Malala Yousafzai says, we cannot succeed when half of us are held back. Globally, it will be incredibly difficult to continue to develop when only half the population can function and do what they want. Women's rights can allow growth and success in countries and most importantly, they will allow women to live as freely and happily as their male counterparts. Thank you for taking this time to listen. I feel so passionately about this issue and I am delighted that I've been able to express my views.